How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you the best recipes to give you a max speed boost and max stealth boost in Zelda Breath of the Wild and where you can get some of those ingredients. So let's begin. Let's start off with maximum speed boost recipes. Here's the first one. We need three fleet lotus seeds and a rush room. Chuck it into the pot and this will give us hasty fruits and mushroom mix gives us level 3 speed which is the highest for 4 minutes duration and 4 hearts. So let's break this down. On the left hand side we have the speed giving ingredients. So rush room is level 1, this will only give us 1 point. A fleet lotus seed is worth 2 points because it's level 2. And at the top we've got the different levels of speed that you can get and how many points you need from the ingredients to get to that level. So for level 3 you need 7 points plus. Level 2 you need 5 points and to get level 1 speed only 1 point. So this is the breakdown of what we just cooked. 3 lotus seeds, they're worth 2 points each. A rush room worth 1 point and all together that's 7 points which gives us level 3 speed. And the duration will be 4 minutes because they each provide 1 minute each for each ingredient. And 1 heart each to give 4 hearts in the recipe. So of course we want the maximum duration for our maximum speed boost as well. So all you need to do is to add extra dragon's horn to the recipe and you'll get that maximum 30 minutes duration with your level 3 speed boost. So chuck it in together with your previous recipe, 3 lotus seed flowers, a rush room and the dragon's horn. And there you go. So a good place to get fleet lotus seeds is in Rustal Lake. From Santorium Mountain, go to the Morg Lantern Shrine and then glide down. Once you reach the water, you'll find loads of fleet lotus seeds just floating around. Another place is inside Sora's Domain. Go to the shrine in there and around the shrine there's always some fleet lotus seeds. You probably knew that already. So a good place to get rush rooms is from the Morg Lantern Shrine again, but this time as you're heading towards Rustal Lake, you see this giant rock and there's loads of birds flying around it. On the other side of this rock, on the wall, there is plenty of rush rooms. You're gonna have to climb and watch out for your stamina as well. So let's move on to how to cook recipes for maximum stealth boosts. So two silent princesses and three silent shrooms. Chuck in the pot, let it cook away. Voila, we got sneaky steamed mushrooms, which is, gives us level three stealth for 10 minutes and we've got seven hearts. So let's break that recipe down. We've got two silent princesses at level three, worth three points each, three silent shrooms worth two points each. Overall, that's 12 points, which gives us level three stealth. And they're all worth two minutes each. So that gave us 10 minutes of stealth plus all the hearts together, we've got seven hearts. And just like before, if you want to get the 30 minute duration with your maximum stealth, you want to add in a dragon's horn to your recipe but make sure you've got enough points to get you to the level three stealth. So for this one, you can use three silent princesses, which gives us nine points plus the dragon's horn to get the 30 minutes. And there we go, sneaky fried wild greens. We've got our level three stealth and our 30 minutes duration. To get yourself some silent princesses, head to all the great fairy fountains. And then if you walk around, you'll be able to collect yourself quite a few. And for silent shrooms, Head to Hikalei Wood. There's the Toto Sha Shrine, which will take you closest to that area. And then in the woods, collect your silent room. But also at the cliff, just opposite Hikalei Wood, at the end where the water is, climb up there and you'll see loads of silent rooms on the cliff. And of course, to get dragon's horn, you need to shoot the dragon in the horn. Check out my video card in the top right corner. It'll show you the location and time these dragons will appear. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, check out some more of my other videos to help support my channel. I'm Simon for LOG Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.